Good dog, and welcome to PA Dutch 101. This is video 11 in our series, and it will be covering the topic of the days of the week, months of the year, and seasons of the year, or as we say in Dutch, da, munede, und jahreszeide. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos in this series, I would ask you to go back and watch those before going to this one, although this is not a grammar-based video, so this is basically a good video to build vocabulary. Um, so, if you haven't seen the previous videos, just get back there and watch them and then uh, move on with uh, video 11. But let's get right into it. So the days of the week are, as we say in Dutch, die da von der Woche. We're going to go right through starting with Sunday as the first day, and you'll quickly realize that just like in English, all of our days of the week end in the word day. The vast majority of the days of the week in Pennsylvania Dutch end in the word day, which we've learned from video two, I believe it was. Dog, D-A-A-G, is the word for day, so uh, you'll see a pattern as we go through. But anyway, Sunday in Pennsylvania Dutch is Sundog, Sundog, Sundog. Monday, Mundog, Mundog, Mundog. Tuesday, Dinchdog, Dinchdog, Dinchdog. Wednesday, Mittwoch, Mittwoch, Mittwoch. Thursday, Donnerstag. Donnerstag, Donnerstag, Donnerstag. Friday, Freidog, Freidog, Freidog. And Saturday, Samstag, Samstag, Samstag. You'll notice that a lot of the days of the week are similar to the English, so they shouldn't be that hard to memorize. Sunday, Sundog, Monday, Mundog. Uh, Friday, fry dog. Wednesday is the only day of the week that doesn't end in dog, and that's because the word for Wednesday in Pennsylvania Dutch, mitwoch, literally translates as middle of the week. Mit, middle, woch is the word for week. So, there you go. Sundog, mundog, dinchdog, mitwoch, donnerstag, fry dog, samstag. Days of the week. Okay. Now, we can take these days and then use them to talk a little bit more and expand. For example, now you can ask this question, or someone can ask you this question, you can answer. The question, what day is today? In Pennsylvania Dutch, Vela dog is height. Vela dog is height. Vela dog is height. When responding to that, you would say today is, let's say Monday, for example. Height is the word for today. Height is Mundog. Height is Mundog. And you could replace Mundog with whatever day of the week it is. Okay? We can also then ask the question, what day is tomorrow? The word for tomorrow in Pennsylvania Dutch is Maria. Maria. So the question would be, Vela dog is Maria. Vela dog is Maria. Vela dog is Maria. What day is tomorrow? To answer that question, start with the word tomorrow, Maria, the verb is, and then whatever day of the week. Maria is Dinchdog. Maria is Dinchdog, or whatever day tomorrow might happen to be. Now we can also go back in time and ask about the day before. What was yesterday? The word for yesterday in Pennsylvania Dutch is Gestar. Gestar. Now, this is a past tense sentence. We're not going to get all into details about how we form the past tense, but for today, let's just realize that when we want to say or ask the question what day was yesterday, we use the word war. 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 We're changing from this because we're going from present tense to past tense. In a future video, we will go into in-depth how to form the past tense, but for right now, let's just know that it's when asking about what day is yesterday or what day was yesterday, we use the word war. Weller, dog, war, gestar. Weller, dog, war, gestar. And to answer it, start with yesterday was. Gestar, war, sundog. Gestar, war, sundog. So now we know our seven days of the week, and we can now ask the question and answer them. What day is today, what day is tomorrow, and what day was yesterday. Okay? 
Let's now talk about the months of the year, die Monate. Some of them are going to seem very similar to the English, a couple are going to change. Uh, they shouldn't be that difficult to memorize. Let's start with January. January in Pennsylvania Dutch is Jänner. 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 February? Hanning. 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 March? Mats. 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 April? Abril. 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 May? Moy. 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 June? Chun. 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 Sometimes you will also see people write or say uni for June. Uni. But in the area of Pennsylvania where I grew up, most of the speakers would use the word chun. Uh, so that's the one I'm providing with you with. The same for July. Where I grew up and in the northern part of Berks County and in the eastern part of Berks County and western Berks County, we would tend to say the word July. 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 But in some parts, uh, and I've seen it written and said that some people will also say Yuli. 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 So it's your call. I would recommend using Chun and July, but you can use Uni and Yuli. The next couple months get very similar to the English. August, 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 August. September, 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 September. October, 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 October. November, November, November. November. And finally, December. 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 So from the top, Jänner, Hanning, Mats, April, Moi, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay? We know that there are four seasons of the year. The word in Pennsylvania Dutch for seasons is Jahreszeit. 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 So let's get those. The word for winter, pretty close to the English, der Winter. Der Winter. Der Winter. Spring, which literally translates as early year, es Frijor. Es Frijor. Es Frijor. Summer is almost exactly the same. Der Sommer. Der Sommer. Der Sommer. And autumn or fall, which should translate as to late year, es Spotjor. Es Spotjor. Es Spotjor. So, die Jahreszeiten in Deutsch sind der Winter, es Frühjahr, der Sommer, es Spätjahr. All right, giving everything that we've done, let's practice a little bit. If I asked you this question in Pennsylvania Dutch, how would you respond? Heit ist Mittwoch. Welcher Dog ist Maria? Heit ist Mittwoch. Welcher Dog ist Maria? Give you a second to think about that. You should respond by saying, Maria is Donnerstag. Maria is Donnerstag. Okay. What if I threw this question at you? Heid is Samstag. Well, a dog war gesta. Heid is Samstag. Well, a dog war gesta. Give you a minute to think about it. What you should have said was, Gesta war Freidog. Gestar war Freidog. Okay? Think. In welra yorist side is moi. In welra yorist side is moi. Hmm. You have four possibilities. 
should have said, Moi is im frior. Moi is im frior. If you didn't have the im and you said in, that's okay for now. In a future video, we'll explain why here it says in, but here in the answer it says im. I was really looking for, did you know that, remember that moi was May, and we're asking about the season of the year, which happens to be spring, free your. Don't get hung up on these little things right now. We'll explain all those in future videos, okay? And one more. Vela dry muneda sin im bindar. I think numbers and what we talk about today, Vela dry muneda sin im bindar. Give you a minute to think about it. You should have said December, Yenna, un hunting sin im bindar. December, Yenna, un hunting sin im bindar. Because those are the three months of the year that are in winter. Okay? So there's a little bit of practice for our days of the week and months of the year and seasons of the year. So that's it for this video. So that's all this was ich for Hyde Hop. Uh, bis die nächste video. Don't forget, if you ever have questions or comments, please feel free to email me at this ad address. Uh, so that's it for today. Bis die nächste video. Max gut und schwätzt Deutsch.